so this version of Tusk the Feathers um, is uh, different in a few ways from the other two. Um, it's played as a single reel usually, which means the A part is once and then the B part is once. The other tunes, uh, the other versions are usually played double with two A parts, two B parts. So we've got one A and one B, and also we've changed the key for this one. This is in E minor. It's um, a note higher than the others. Um, and there's a great recording of this tune played by uh, the accordion player Tony McMahon on a record uh, called Paddy in the Smoke. It's just, it's a field recording, what used to be known as a field recording. Um, it was uh, recorded in a pub in London called The Favourite and um, it was a place where they used to have great sessions of music typically on a Sunday lunchtime and uh, one day some people showed up with some recording equipment and just recorded what was going on in the pub and uh, Tony happened to be visiting that time and uh, played a couple of tunes and they exist on that record. Lucy Campbell I think is the first one he played and then he followed it with this E minor version of Tusk Feathers. Um, now I always associate this version with the Sligo players because I think that's where I heard it first. Um, so I thought it was kind of ironic that Tony who comes from County Clare would be playing uh, a Sligo version of the tune. Um, but nonetheless, um, it starts off with uh, a couple of B rolls. Uh, those two Bs, as usual, I tend to accent the second one with a grace note. So that's the first bar. Then I have E, B, E, B. So those two measures sound like this. Then we have an E roll. And then wait on the B. This version of the tune is quite brisk. You know, the East Clare version it plays on those swoops and uh, swells, whereas this one is a bit more direct, a bit more rhythmic, um, a bit more energetic, not quite as relaxed. So um, I try to reflect that in the way I play it, which means a bit more snappy with the fingers. And that, that first section where we have the E, B, E, B. I tend to poke at the two strings to get that double stop sound. 